This is the interest rate for a 30 year mortgage right now. And it's going to have a big impact on buyers and sellers in the upcoming summer market. What's up everybody? I'm Rob Scout and I'm a realtor here in Southern Maryland. And my goal is to make your move easier when you move down here to Southern Maryland. So make sure you use that contact information to reach out to me if you have any questions about your move to Southern Maryland. So just to jump in it really quickly, I wanna talk about the housing market that is happening right now. So as of this video, May 28th, the interest rates are pushing seven and a quarter percent. That is having an effect, not just on buyers, but also on sellers. And I wanna to talk to you about why and what could happen down the road. Now, obviously buyers are really impacted by mortgage rates. A seven and a quarter percent interest rate makes a huge difference in the buying power of buyers and it really can change budgets around. One of the things that I'm seeing is that a lot of people are kind of gathering around that 350 to 425 price range in our area. And that's made it so there's a ton of competition for those houses. And it's almost going back to that pandemic style where there's multiple offers on houses. So if you're a buyer right now and you're searching in that 350 to 425 range and you're in Southern Maryland, be prepared. It really might be a highest and best situation and you still might not get the house. So don't think that now because we're in this new market where the interest rates are higher that every single price point and every single area is gonna experience a correction. It just not is not the case right now in Southern Maryland. In in that 325, I said 354, but really 325 to 425 band, there's a lot of people looking in that price range and not nearly enough inventory to satisfy it. Now, if you're a buyer and you're looking at a higher price range, we're seeing less competition. So if you're looking for waterfront in that, you know, 650 to 850 range, I'm not seeing them go as quickly as they used to. Now they're still selling and they're selling close to that asking price, but they're not going as quickly as before. So you have some time, you're gonna be able to work some concessions possibly with the seller. So that is one of the benefits of those higher interest rates. Now for sellers, the interest rates have less of an impact on them personally, but if you're a seller, you're selling a commodity to someone and you're selling to those buyers. So if you're considering selling, you have to take into account a lot of your buying pool, especially at those higher price ranges in the 650, 850, a million is starting to shrink more in Southern Maryland than it ever has. You can't find as many people that can afford those type of houses. So if you're someone that is sitting on a waterfront house, can't decide if you're going to list it or not. Um, I would always say list it. If you're not using that property and you want to get the equity out of it, list it, but list it with an open mind that it's going to sit for 30 days. It's going to sit for a little bit longer than it used to. And you might have to make some concessions as well when you go to sell it. Now, if you're a seller who has something in that 325 to 425 price range, my opinion, my real estate opinion is right now, go and sell it get it on the market. There's limited inventory. There's a ton of buyers. And with that is going to be your best price for probably the next few months until something else changes. I really am pushing anyone that has like a rental property that they don't want to keep up anymore, or maybe they're PCSing to another area to sell those homes now so you can reap the benefit of this really contracted supply and demand market. So I think with interest rates being higher, what I really take away from it is there's still opportunity. Previously, when they were low, it felt like everyone had opportunity. Sellers had opportunities to sell at all time high prices because buyers could afford it with those low interest rates. Now, instead of every single sector of the Southern Maryland market really being hot, it's really focused on narrow bands and areas throughout Southern Maryland. So interest rates definitely have made it harder for you um, as a buyer to buy a house and as a seller in some markets and some pieces of the markets to sell a house. But with some knowledge and with some research, you can position yourself pretty well as either a buyer or seller and still be successful in this market. Hopefully this video is helpful. If you have any questions or need any help, use that contact information below. Call me, text me, and I'd be happy to help you make your move to Southern Maryland so much easier. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.